Greetings, Archmage. I am Blubby, and I am your advisor for today. This is Mage Tanks, and this is our gameplay first look. Today, we'll be going on an expedition focused around the Gluon and the Incinerator. The Gluon is an expendable but very effective assault unit with high damage output. It is very strong against the Earth element. The first level we selected in this expedition has embers, which are blaze enemies, and blooms, which are earth enemies. We will now be pushing forward. We've destroyed an enemy turret, but one of our gluons is damaged. Let's quickly establish our mana nodes. Our enemies are sneaking up behind our expedition and in front of us. We need to split up our forces. Those blooms can't do much against us. Now, we've got a total of 8 tanks that we can have active at the same time. I don't want to fill all of our 8 slots yet. I expect to use incinerators during our next level. Which is why we are currently sitting on 6 gluons and putting them up in defensive positions. Skipping forward a bit, our expedition is successfully arriving at the end of the first level, making our first endeavor a success. Victory is ours. Some of the destroyed gluons have been salvaged and we've gotten a lot of resources from the mana node. The expedition continues. Now, a new tank and some upgrades await for us. I'll be choosing the frontline upgrade for the incinerator because I would like to focus on its ability to survive sustained assaults. It will upgrade its health and the health of the gluon and here I opt for range for the gluon, improving its ability to stay out of combat while the incinerator sits on the front lines, taking all the hits. Ah, with our first upgrades chosen, let's get our hillstorm in order. This is a heavy artillery unit. We will not be using it much, but I will be upgrading it to the level of our other tanks and equipping it with a powerful enchantment. With all that done, let's select our course. Every level has about three enemies and different rewards. Ah, a Xeon as a reward. I think we'll be going to level three, Buried Wasteland. The ice enemies here are weak against the incinerator as well, making it a viable choice for our current army composition. Let's head out. The Buried Wasteland. Warns Drive have claimed these deserted lands, and with somber moods your forces tread through the Buried Wasteland. Suddenly, a figure emerges from the mist, a mere speck of dust in front of your massive base. I am the last of my people, the old warrior exclaims. The last mage of the path of lightning, before it was cast away by the fusion. You have forgotten us, but I shall stand until the very end, for my people! He raises a lone sword. You order your men to disarm him, but suddenly the ghosts of forgotten warriors, mages and heroes take form in a battle formation behind the old mage. For the lightning! He shouts, a vigorous roar that sends chills down your spine. Attention all forces. Prepare for mana collection operations in hostile territory. Prepare for battle. Our objective is to protect the expedition at all costs. Let's immediately train Come a few in. incinerators. The incinerator is known for its extreme short-range damage output. An ideal frontline unit, though it can't take too many hits without upgrades. We're pinning up an incinerator turret here to guard our resource collector, and we're splitting up our gluons a bit. There's a hill up ahead which is blocking our assault. Luckily, the enemy is in full retreat. Let's chase after them and clear the area ahead of our expedition. Yes, that's the power of the incinerator flamethrower! We're taking some hits, but we can take it. Let's not attack that icicle with our gluons. Oh no, our gluons are very weak against ice units, which are the light blue enemies. But the flames of the incinerator burn right through that. That water flight, very quick unit, is escaping. Let's pull back for now, we don't want to overextend ourselves. It seems our turret was attacked earlier, but it managed to stave off the offense. 
good. There aren't a lot of enemies that can, well, survive against an army of this power. So, this level is not a success. Whoa, let's dodge a shot from that water flight, keeping our glue on alive. Now let's burn it down. A great note to end our second level with. Justice. The expedition continues. Now we unlock the Xeon, and we have more upgrades to take. An interesting choice. I expect to focus on the incinerator above all, and plus 40% damage output sounds like the best choice now. We've got some condensed mana, which we'll be able to use later. And we've got another upgrade. Let's get our Xeon to level as well. Again, I don't expect to use things that are not the incinerator and glue on a lot. Um, this isn't a support tank that can help that formation very well, but I will give it a strong enchantment and level it up. We might need it later. It's a lot more heavy duty than our small gluons are. Now, our next level has a lot of possibly dangerous earth enemies, so let's keep an eye out. Attention all units. Possible targets are nearby. Prepare yourselves for battle and provide report. Our formation is looking strong. I'm training a Xeon. A single Xeon will be able to scout ahead. It is cloaked, meaning that it cannot be seen until it attacks the enemy. Fusion ingenuity here. The Xeon is a mighty tank, which means that it's of a higher rarity. It's harder to acquire. That does not make it more powerful than the others, though. Whoa! Our incinerators are pushing through, look at those flames go. Gluons are incredibly weak against mighty incinerators, so those enemy gluons don't stand a chance. However, the moss tank over there is an earth-type unit, which is very strong against fire. Ah. That's why we've got our gluons. The gluons are able to destroy those moss tanks before they are able to deal much damage to our incinerators. Let's push forward. Fantastic, we've already cleared the path towards the end. Level 3 is going smoothly as well. Skipping ahead, we are entering the dark desert. Dangerous enemy incinerator over there. <laughs> but nothing compared to mine. Our damage output is superior, we've got it surrounded from all sides. You know, our Xeon up top is taking out those moss tanks. They will be able to pose a threat to our incinerators. Our base is taking some hits. We're doing fine. Now, the time has come. Level 5 is a boss battle, and we are choosing to fight the Supreme Board. The leading faction within the fusion. They've got advanced fusion tanks and oxygen blaze tanks to support it. This is going to be dangerous. We can already see a shield bubble up ahead. I'm splitting up our incinerators, intending to flank the enemy from both sides, but they, well, they realize and they retreat into their defensive position. We'll have to be very careful here. Oh, those hills are blocking our advance again. This is painful. Alright, I'm sending in our units up top. The enemy expedition is in sight! Let's engage! Moving in from all sides, but my attack is slightly mistimed and... The enemy has Electron tanks. The Electron does not take a lot of damage from our incinerators and it's able to stave off our assault! Our incinerators are going down and the enemy turrets are still surviving! We're losing our men. This incinerator here is going down as well. This is very bad. We need to build hillstorms, of course, hillstorms. The ice element is strong against the fusion element. We should have done this a lot earlier, but there's no time to regret our decisions. We must fight to survive. As you see, I've built an incinerator turret on top of our base earlier, using condensed mana. It's able to defend ourselves a bit, but it's going down as well to those electron attacks. 
It's very close by. This is not going well. Luckily, our one mana collector is still generating mana. We can build another incinerator. The enemy has superior firepower and more enemies are approaching soon. This might be our last chance. This incinerator here will win it for us or we'll go down with the ship. We destroyed the enemy. Very close, but we defeated our first boss. A whole lot of levels are waiting up ahead. This has been our first expedition. Thank you for joining us today. We hope to see you on the battlefield as well, Archmage. The expedition must succeed!